Well, good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Fernandez here waving at you, and I'm really excited to be here with you today because today we're going to work on learning the musical staff, and you're going to draw it, and we're going to label it, and it's going to be awesome. So, to do this project, what do you need? You need a piece of paper, so ask mommy or daddy for a piece of paper. That's all you need here. Then you need a pen or a pencil, okay? And you need a ruler. Now, if you don't have a ruler, you can actually use a straight edge, like a pencil, for your ruler. So if you have two, two uh, pens or two pencils, you could use one of them as a straight edge. I've got a ruler right here. I'm going to use that for today. And I've got this pen. I'm going to use this for today. So let's get started. Get your papers ready because we're going to do this together. So what is the music staff? Well, the music staff is a system that musicians use and composers use to put notes on so we can read music. Okay, it's a system of lines and spaces. So first, let's write Let's write what we're making. We are going to be making the musical staff. How awesome. This is what we're drawing, okay? So let's draw it. Get your straight edge, and now let's make five long lines. Five long lines. Here we go. Here's my first one. There we go. And let's, let's give them about an inch of space. So you see your thumb, take your thumb and give yourself about a, a thumb's length of space. Don't make them too close because otherwise it makes it really hard to, to draw and to learn the music stuff. So I'm going to give myself about a thumb's distance here. I'm going to make my lines parallel. That means they don't cross, right? Don't make sure that your lines don't cross like this when you draw them. So keep your lines straight to each other, parallel, right? There we go. I'm going to draw my second line. Two. I'm going to draw my third line. Three. I'm going to draw my fourth line. Again, thumb length, uh, a little bit of a thumb length. My thumb is a little bigger than yours, so I'm compensating a little bit by drawing my lines just a tad closer. And the last line is the fifth line. Here we go. And there we go. So that's it. That right there, right there is our music stuff. I hope yours looks like it too. If you want to shoot me a video and show me or send me a picture of your music stuff, I would love to see it. Now we need to do something with this. Let's figure out where things go. We have five lines, so we need to label them. This is the first line, and we always count from the bottom to the top, okay? So this is our first line, here is our second line, here is our third line, here is our fourth line, and here is our fifth line, okay? And then between those lines, between those lines, you have a space. So here is our first space, our second space, our third space, and our fourth space. So we have five lines. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, and four spaces. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Awesome. So let's write down now a little bit more so that we remember. Musical staff, we're going to write five lines, and we're going to write Four spaces. Awesome. You are doing great. So now we can practice putting down music notes. And then we can guess and figure out what line or space they're on. Right? And at the end of this lesson, you can look at any piece of music in the whole wide world. And you can say, hey, that note's on the third space or second line. Let's try it out. So here we go. If I draw myself a big music note right there, okay, that music note is where? Yeah, you guessed it, on the first line. What about this one? You try it. What do you think? Exactly, second line. All you got to do is look across. All right, let's keep going. What about this one? 
Yes, third line. Good job. What about this one, my friends? Yes, fourth line. Beautiful job. And here we go. What about that one? That one is on the fifth line. Yay, good. Now, can I throw you a, a curveball? Let me throw you a curveball. Oof, what about this one? It's not on the fifth line. It's not on the fifth line. So where is it? So this one is above the fifth line. It's right. It's above the fifth line. What about this one? Let me throw you another curveball. What about this one? Oh, man, this is tricky. It's not on the first line. So where is it? It's below the first line, right? Easy way to know where it is, below the first line. So now let's finish it out. You know where this one is. There we go. Where is that? Yes, first space. What about this one? Yes, good job, second space. What about this one? You guessed it, that's the third space. And what about this one? You got it, guys. That's on the fourth space. So the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring some real music, okay? And we're going to look at it and figure out where is what note, and then we can practice. And that'll be the end of this lesson. So here we go. Now, this here is real music, okay? And this, this book happens to be uh, for violin players. But regardless of whether you play violin or flute or trombone or cello or bassoon, all of, all of the musicians, even if you're a singer, every musician is going to read from the music staff. But notice now how it does get a little bit smaller right? The music staff, those five lines, and there they are. Let's count them, right? You have one, two, third line, fourth line, fifth line, and then also notice the spaces. First space, second space, third space, and fourth space. The staff is now smaller. When we made it, it was gigantic, right? How cool. But imagine we couldn't write a whole lot of music here, so we make it smaller so we can squeeze more notes and we can have more music. So, let's practice. Let's see if you can tell me what note, or sorry, what space or line the note that I'm pointing at is on. Okay, so I'm going to very carefully point here, and then you tell me. What about that one right there? You got it. First line. What about that one? You got it. Second line. What about this one? You guessed it. That's the third line. What about this one here? Yeah, that's on the fourth line. And what about this one here? Yes, that's the fifth line. And hey, look, our, our sneaky note here. That's above the fifth line. Right? How cool. Look at that note. We drew it right over here. I love it. And what about this note here? Yeah, that's below the first line. Below the first line. And what about this one? Yes, first space. What about that one? You got it, second space. What about this one? That's right, third space. And what about that one? You got it, it's the fourth space. So, I'm really proud of you. You did a great job figuring out your notes and learning how to draw a staff today. So now my challenge to you is this. Try to look up some sheet music. And when you pull up sheet music, if you have some at home, or if you can see images of sheet music that a family member can help you look, try to identify lines and spaces. And you practice lines and spaces, I want you to get faster at it so you can say, hey, that's the fifth line. And I knew it right away just from looking at it. Okay? So you've done a great job on today's lesson. You are welcome to repeat this so you can practice drawing it. And even if you would like, you can make a smaller, a smaller musical staff and practice drawing your lines and your spaces. And so if you have any questions, leave me some comments below. Great job again, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye!